raised in New Orleans, Louisiana. I was always into science, thought I was gonna be a mathematician. Then math got really hard around calculus. But my love for science really started doing the school science fairs. That has now led me to where I am now, which is a staff scientist, uh, more specifically a bioinformatician uh, that works in the genomic space here at Illumina. Always had a deep passion for the community and that community of work has led me to doing a lot of public speaking, teaching genetic literacy to a lot of different communities. So let's talk about school then. What was that like for you? My parents both went to college, but both didn't finish college. And so really that drove me to like want to be even stellar because I knew that education was going to be the way out. So tell us a little bit about what do you do here at Illumina? So I'm a staff scientist, bioinformatician. I'm making sure that the technology is up to speed. I'm making sure that the technology is representative. A lot of the work that I like to do is, is Afrocentric and centers blackness in, in positive lights. That's all from my upbringing from my family. What is Scientific Sankofa? We use the genome to understand questions about our ancestors, to help inform things about the future, to help inform things about who we are today. And so I think of the genome as a form of Sankofa, which is why I call it the scientific Sankofa, because it is a, a tool which we can go back and learn about the history of humanity. Are there many black Bioinformatics in the field. So we do have a group of Black geneticists, and then within genetics, you have bioinformaticians. There is not many of us, but we are growing. So in addition to being a staff scientist here at Illumina, I also am the host and creator of a genetics podcast called In Those Genes. So you put your stake in the ground around this is what In Those Genes is, and you can either ride with me or I can go like you know shop that's around someplace else. Yeah, that's that's courage and leadership. One thing I would tell myself, and I still tell myself today, is to get closer to the discomfort you feel when you get a rejection. Get really close to it, almost welcome it. Change your mindset around it. And when you experience it, shift that mindset from rejection to redirection.